Hello, my people. What a beautiful day to put some makeup on. Welcome to my bathroom. This seems to be a reoccurring place to do business. I just curled my hair and I had a couple people ask me. First, check out my website, badtotheblonde.com. You can get one of these super cute tees, embroidered roses, screen printed graphic, bougie, yet badass. I have made it part of my New Year's resolution to get ready more often. So I'm gonna show you basically my everyday look. And I'm gonna try to do it kind of quickly. And I will go through all the products that I use. Hopefully there aren't too many. So starting with my MAC Mineralized Time Check Lotion. This is what I use for a primer. So I have a little kum kombucha. Kabuki brush. I do one little pump and I just brush through. This is also the same brush that I do my foundation with. I probably shouldn't, but it's fast. Step one this. Then I do my eyes. And I'm gonna do, I kind of rotate on the daily basis between the Naked Heat palette. However, it's very orange pigmented, so uh, with my orangey skin, which is not spray tan, I'm just orange, probably from my early days having jaundice. Isn't that, I don't know if that's whiter. I don't have children, clearly, so. This is just a little too dark for me. I do love the Naked Heat palettes. I tend to use this one if I'm going out because the color just works. But for today's look, I'm gonna show you products that I use a lot, clearly. Oh my gosh, what is this color even called? I have had this for a long time. Oh no. It's like a coppery color. And actually, if you look at me, this seems really dark for my skin tone, but it really makes my eyes pop. And the Chicken Mac, like 10 years ago, told me to get this as my everyday color, so I do. Um, but it is pretty dark. I do have a mirror right here too, so. Lids first. This is kind of pretty because it's like a brownie bronzy color. And this is a MAC. What is this? A MAC 217 brush? I don't know if that even works, but it's a really good brush for the lids. And I do tend to press kind of hard when I do my makeup. Especially my eyes, so I think I'm kind of actually stretching out the skin as I've aged, not being more gentle with my eye area. I bring this right up into my crease because I have really large eyes, I tend to accentuate that. It's just a really pretty color. Oh, it's hard to use the camera as a mirror. So that is what I do on my lids. Very easy. This is a MAC 286S. This is a really good, like, dirty brush. So this is just a really good powder brush. It has a lot of soft bristles, really long. I was looking for a blender brush for my crease because I tend to kind of go a little crazy. And the beautiful girl at MAC told me to do this one. So that's what I do. Um, this one I tend to go a little more gently on for my crease because of the type of brush this, that this is. So I really highly, highly, highly recommend you get this brush if you're looking to do some crease work. As you can tell, I kind of just always go a little crazy and I clean it up after. But yeah, this color is just pretty, pretty, pretty. And of course, this is one of those colors that you can really darken up by the more you put on. 
I always do a little bit underneath too. Uh, I stopped wearing eyeliner a couple years ago um, when I stopped doing on camera TV reporting I stopped wearing eyeliner I felt like it just was a needed from like a daily basis and I always tend to go darker on that eye for some reason so I've been trying to do more on this one so as you can tell you can really bring your browns up depending on a day or a night look I like it dark so that's what I do because I'm so blonde and I'm so fair, it just, I do what I want. Then I curl my eyelashes. I, for some reason, always do this after I do my eyeshadow. Maybe because I can admire my work. This is just a really cheap, oh. <laughs> this is a MAC eyelash curler. I was wondering why this was so great. This is a MAC one, highly recommend. It's hard to probably see, but I have super long eyelashes and you cannot tell until I put mascara on them, but they are really long. So that was one, two, three. Then I just do my foundation which I always do foundation with SPF. I need to get into the habit of doing this, a sunscreen, than this, because of the sun damage. Clearly I'm not good at it. So if I don't use my MAC Studio Fix SPF 15, I tend to use, where's my BB cream? right in front of my face and I don't see it. Um, it is. So, whoa. So if I don't use this because I need more coverage, I use the BB cream. So it kind of depends on what I'm doing. Usually if I'm gonna get ready for the day, I use this. I don't even, I use this, but not as often as I should, so. Because I'm getting ready for who knows what today. I'm using this. I just really like these kabuki brushes. I keep wanting to say kombucha. I like these kabuki brushes just because as you can see, I don't have patience. And I like to get ready really fast. I have a million different brushes for foundation. I have this one. I have this Velvet Luxe brush. I used to use this one a lot, but now I've been using it at night to put on lotion. I have this It Cosmetics Velvet Luxe brush too. These ones I really like, but for some reason I just tend to use this longer one. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that's what I do. Let's get low. And you know what, and the best part about doing videos like this when you watch the way I do things, I'm not going to show you a bunch of products that are brand new that I don't use, so this is the stuff that I use every day. I'm still trying to perfect around my eyes, like trying to do more of a professional job. Um, the thing too about my skin is that my neck is very white. My neck doesn't tan, so I tend to kind of just blend it down. <laughs> I usually always have a line. Uh, every time they try to match my foundation, they, they, the pros tell me I'm either going to have a pretty white looking face because of my neck being so white, or you might have a little darker line and just to kind of blend it in with more of like a bronzer or something that... I don't really care. It doesn't bug me, so I'm not the one that looks at the side of my face. I've noticed that as I've gotten older, I wanted some more eye coverage. So I pretty much always use like a NARS concealer. 
This is getting really low too, it's almost right up. And that is when I tend to use a brush like this or a brush like this one. I don't even know where this came from. We'll use this. I've been really trying to be more gentle around my eye area, so. I kind of just blend that in. Step four. Five, I use the MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder and there's not a lot left. I've been having problems lately trying to find a powder that I like. Every time I do the compact, they break, so I've stopped buying the compacts and I use the loose powder. However, I feel like the loose powder doesn't last as long. I use the Velvet Lux. What is this? It Cosmetics Brush again. The Plush Powder Brush. The reason why, it's big. Dust my face quickly. I can usually do my makeup in about 10 minutes. If I'm trying to actually like feel like I'm a pro, then I'll tend to take a little longer, but this is pretty much how fast I do my makeup. And if this video is over 10 minutes, sorry. Guess it down my neck. Around my eye. Powder. I'm like making a pile to see everything that I do. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've used six things so far. Last, mascara. I use my powder next. And then my eyebrow stuff. So I finish with this stuff and then sometimes I add a bronzer depending on where we're going in um, the year we're in, the season we're in. If we're in summer, I tend to do a lot more of a highlighter and a bronzer. If we're in the winter, I kind of just tend to use a blush. I was on the search for a everyday blush that wasn't too pink and I really like this sweet enough because it is just like me. I'm just sweet. So I've been kind of going a little higher on my cheeks. I'm trying to break the bronzer habit. It's getting to get a little old. Shout out to my friend Glam in a T. I'm gonna leave her link below. She does. She's actually a professional makeup artist. She did my makeup for our wedding, so I've tried to learn a little bit from Laura. Um, and of course, she's glam in a tea. I'm just pretending to be. So that was blush. I will show you my favorite highlighter and bronzer palette. A friend of mine gave me this. Shout out to Marjo. The Tardiest Pro Glow. When she gave me this thing, I was like, this is gold. Beautiful. I'm gonna do these steps for you just because I, I do tend to do this on a daily basis. Um, this is the strobe. I do a little dusting up underneath my eyes to make me look awake. And down my nose. I don't really care about being too shiny. Again, I try to blend in what's going on down here. And then I do use a little bit of stunner. Again, depending on where I'm going, if we're going out, I kind of want a more of a little glow. If I'm gonna do like on camera work, I tend to do obviously a little more matte. So I'm gonna darken up my cheeks just a little bit. And of course in this light, it's gonna look really dark, but I kind of like, I don't know, I like contoured cheeks. And then down the sides of my nose. 
So as you can tell, that really gives me like that glam, that glam look. Eyebrows and mascara. This is the MAC mascara. This is actually not my everyday mascara. I gave this a try and I'm just trying to use it up before I open the god of all mascara. Nothing is better than this. Mascara is the best. I'm just trying to use this up before I use this, but this mascara is the freaking best. I will be buried with this. It's, it's the best. But I'm cheap, so I'm gonna keep using my MAC mascara. This is my second choice. Second choice mascara is the MAC. What is this? In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. Let me do this quickly and then I will show you the difference. I refuse to wear fake eyelashes. I hate them, I think. No offense to the ladies that do, I just, I think they look like spiders on your let, on your eyelashes. I don't like fake eyelashes. They drive me absolutely nuts. I didn't wear them on my wedding. I just don't like them. If you find a good mascara, you shouldn't have to wear fake eyelashes. And here is a trick if you're looking to grow your eyelashes naturally. Wash with the cleansing oil. It is so hard to find cleansing oils. I get this at Sprouts. This is the Badger Damas Damasis Rose Cleansing Oil. If this is available on Amazon, I'll leave a link below. I wash my face with this. You can leave this on at night on your eyelashes. It's the best. I think that's why I don't rip my eyelashes out with this mascara. A lot of people are scared to wash their faces with oil. You will not get oily skin washing your face with oil. I don't know who started that rumor. So as you can tell, I have eyelashes again. I'm really trying to do this really fast. Again, depending on what we're doing, I sometimes put mascara down below. If I don't, that's why I do the eyeshadow down below. Because it kind of just gives me that, that softer top to bottom blend. But yeah, I just like. And I also just, I do a lot of my cheeks, so I feel like if I put eyes, or I, I do a lot on my cheeks, so I feel like if I'm doing mascara down below, that's a pretty glam look for my skin tone. And I do kind of like the chunky look of this mascara because it just adds like a fullness. Yeah, so that is mascara. And finally, eyebrows. I've been going back and forth between the Glossier Boy Brow. I really, really like this. It kind of gives you that like fluffy brow look, but I really needed, this is almost empty too. I've had this for like, oh my God, probably eight months. It's, it's pretty much dried up. I just keep it over here to remind me to buy more. But in the interim, I will use this. I get my eyebrows threaded every couple months. They pretty much look really bad when I go in. And I'm not very good at this. So I pretty much just draw a line and take it down. Same thing above, I kind of start a little bit in from the middle. And I just kind of draw it down. Remember, they are sisters, not twins. Let's 
same thing and kind of draw it up take it down go on the top and then I kind of just take it down and I kind of just like feather through it I'm not very good at eyebrows so I try not to take it too seriously Because I am pretty naturally blonde, not as dark as I used to be. The girls at Ulta told me to get, I believe this is the taupe. Yes, it is the taupe. Because the blonde can tend to look a little more gray. So I went with taupe. I have used the Anastasia brow pomade stuff before. And people told me my eyebrows look like they were painted on. So not that this doesn't. But yeah. Can I just fill them in? Fill them up? I don't know. I'm gonna just rub in this part. And brows are done. So that is just the basic makeup look for me on a daily basis. These are products that I use every single day. I have an enormous amount of MAC lipstick. <laughs> for some reason, I just don't want to use anything else. I'm still looking for like a really good nude, but one of my favorites is the Lady Danger Red. This color is like my jam. So depending on where I'm going, I kind of pick my lipstick from there. And because you wouldn't, I don't know, I use this color with pretty much any type of lipstick. I just, I don't know, I feel like it works. Like it works with a dark fall winter type lipstick. This one I really like. This is called Retro. It's like a burgundy kind of thing. But then I like this one for the summer. This is Costa Chic. It's really pretty. Of course, my red. The rest are in my purse. Quick, really sad story. I had my truck broken into two years ago and I had about 50 of these lipsticks and when they broke into my car they stole my purse and the, I wasn't even upset about the window I wasn't upset about anything I was so pissed that whoever broke into my car they got no money but they got all my lipstick and then I feel like I've just not re like built my lipstick plethora into what it used to be but I do have several of these and they're probably floating around the house this is how I do my everyday look. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want this shirt, link in the description below. If you have any questions for me, please comment below. Yeah, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe. This is how I do my everyday makeup. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. Oh, last thing I am. I don't usually do a setting spray. I kind of, that really depends. If I'm traveling, I bring with that Urban Decay setting spray, which is in my travel bag. But if I'm just gonna be running around and because I live in Arizona, charged water is the best. This stuff will make your makeup just kind of come back to life. I have one of these in my purse and one of these over here. So charged water is a great refresher. It is a charcoal activated charged water thing. I don't know, you can use it whenever. With makeup, without. I kind of feel like that is my version of a setting spray. I just like it. So these are all the products that I use. Most of them are MAC, just because MAC's the best. I, I just, look at it, I, I use so much shit on my face, I can't even hold it all. These are my favorite products. I will leave a link to all of these in the description below. And if you want more makeup videos, 